you are on the way to this one. always existed in the world and it will not always exist in the world. I'm a spokesperson for the Democratic Party, and I'm here to tell you why you need to vote blue this November. Democrats are the party of love and tolerance. We promote inclusion and acceptance, peace and goodwill. Republicans don't care about any of these things. They just want to talk about record unemployment, the economy, and keeping communities safe. Fascists. Democrats have positive, practical priorities like abolishing the Electoral College, eliminating due process, and banning hate speech. These are the values of the American people. Well, at least Americans that live in San Francisco and New York. Big ass media that's out here, let me tell you this now. The only people that can hurt black people are the people that we allow around us. The only people that are white, that we have allowed around us, are white liberals. Mm. They reap the benefits of our culture. They reap the benefits of everything that we have to provide. They are, Jennifer, they are making sure they're moving our communities to take the low rent, to get us out of there. And the only people we keep voting for that keep suppressing us are white liberals. Let me tell you something. I used to believe there was no such thing as white supremacy and as, uh, 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 what's they, what's they say, white privilege. But I'm going to tell you something, I stand corrected. Because if you're a white liberal, then you get to look a black man in the face and tell him that he is a disgrace to his race. Yeah. It's fucking crazy yeah. that I sit here and I have to deal with being oppressed for who I want to be the president. Joe Hagman here reporting from the walkaway march. I'm out of breath. Literally had to run all the way up to the front of the line to get here, but there are thousands of people here supporting the walkaway movement. Got a lot of people unifying under one message to support President Trump and his agenda, walking away from the Democratic Party and in place supporting the Trump agenda. As you can see, no shortage of support here. Thousands of people marching for this walkaway movement. Not Russian trolls, not Russian bots, but actual American people. Walk away! Walk away! Walk away! Walk away! Once upon a time, I was a liberal. On May 26th of this year, I said these words and a whole lot more in a video I put out talking about why I was walking away from liberal, liberalism and the Democratic Party. I knew I wasn't alone in wanting to walk away. I knew there were countless others feeling the same way. I knew that I could no longer be a part of a political party that has embraced a platform of lies, fear-mongering, division, false platitudes, and the disingenuous messaging to minority groups in America that they exist in a system of oppression that will guarantee failure. 
The Democratic Party has been supported in these slick marketing tactics by their fake news media mouthpiece and the illogical liberal ideology that has become a gospel for this party. I knew that what held me back for so long from wanting to act on this knowledge and walk away was fear. Fear of being cut off and abandoned by friends, fear of career and economic reprisal, fear of being accused of embracing racism, bigotry, and hate. But sometimes all it takes is one person to step forward and say loudly and clearly, something is very wrong here. The emperor is not wearing clothes. I think, does everybody in this room agree? You're living in America. America first, right? Yeah. We're here. 